In this video, we're going to check out some of the features that have been added in the new version of Ambient Occlusion, version 2.0. In version 2.0, Ambient Occlusion has kept the same simple, easy to use one click rendering interface, but has added some new features to allow for more realistic renders. The first feature that has been added is the ability to save render presets. To save a preset that you've created, simply adjust your settings until you like them, then select Preset save preset as, and name your preset. You can now save presets that you like for use in future renderings, instead of having to recreate those settings in every new project. Presets can be accessed both through the menu in render viewport mode by right-clicking, or by selecting the presets button in the separate window render mode. In addition, Photorealistic materials have been added to ambient occlusion, allowing new effects such as glossy materials, specular materials, bump mapping, roughness, and more. You can edit materials in the All New Materials Editor, which allows you to create your own material properties that automatically map to the SketchUp materials based on names and matching criteria. To use the Materials Editor, access the Ambient Occlusion window by going to Extensions, Ambient Occlusion, Material Editor. Within the editor, you can set rendering of your materials to automatic, where Ambient Occlusion will try to apply the correct properties without each one having to be adjusted. As you can see, when you set the matching criteria to Always and the properties to Automatic, Ambient Occlusion will try to apply the correct material properties to each material automatically. As you can see, the water is reflective, and the glass is reflective. These properties have been applied automatically by Ambient Occlusion. You can also use the Material Name Search feature to automatically apply properties to materials based on their name. For example, the water in this image is labeled Water Pool Light. So what we'll do is we'll create a matching criteria to search for the word water to apply specific effects to any water materials in our model. Watch the water in the lower right hand corner as we adjust the properties for any SketchUp material name that includes water. Properties are applied to materials in the model on a first association basis, meaning that the first match from this list will be applied to your model. In this case, since we've set water before realistic, any material containing the word water is applying these properties to that material in the rendering. Any materials that haven't been matched with this initial search are being applied as a part of the realistic preset set on automatic. Material editor changes are saved as a part of your presets. So once you have a set of presets that you like, you can simply right click, go to preset, save preset as, and you can save your preset for future use. More information on using the material editor will be included in a future video. Please note that your renders will always look better if you use an HDR lighting file when creating your renders. To access built-in HDR environments, simply right-click, go down to Environment, and select one of the environments on the list. In this case, we're going to use the skycloudy.hdr, which gets included with Ambient Occlusion. You can download more environment files by right-clicking and going to Environment, Download Environments. As you can see, these environment files not only come with lighting settings, but also with the background that your model interacts with. You can see the reflection of the environment file image by looking in the reflective surfaces of your model. Finally, the ability to add bump maps based on texture has been added. You can adjust the bump strength within the material editor. For example, with these two materials, one is a brick rough dark material, the other is a stone material. You could either add a matching criteria that applies automatic effects to these models, in which case they would be bump mapped automatically, or you could create a matching criteria for brick and for stone. The best way to illustrate this is to go to black and white render mode. As you can see right now, if you change color mode to black and white, nothing shows up on these boxes even though they have the stone and the brick materials applied to them. However, if you were to add an automatic material mapping in the material editor,
you can see ambient occlusion automatically applying a bump map to these two textures. Let's say, for example, that you only wanted to apply a bump map to the stone texture. So we'll remove our realistic, and we'll add a new material match for stone. And we'll do a search for any SketchUp material whose name includes stone. Then we'll set our bump map to 0.2. Now, when we render this, you can see that any material that has the word stone in it is getting this bump map applied to it, while the brick material is not. This allows you to apply bump maps to whatever materials you'd like in ambient occlusion. If you're looking for help on any of the new features in ambient occlusion, make sure to check out the link for the ambient occlusion forums in the notes down below. Thank you for watching this ambient occlusion version 2.0 feature introduction video.